but let's go right. Hey, hello, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to install a new USB charger on the bike and gonna tidy up this connection which is the old say uh, 12 volt car jack that uh, I installed previously. So my plan is to make a bracket similar to the template that I made like this and then the top one will be the new 12 volt uh, charger for the, for the USB and the bottom one will be the 12 volt car jack. So that's the plan. I had some 3 mm plate left over from the axles bracket I built last year. I thought about using that, but instead what I've done is I ordered a bracket already. So th this costed about uh, 6 or 7 euros. The, the, uh, <laughs> the shipping cost was more than the bracket, but then it's uh, it has a nice fold in it and if I have to make it out of the plate material myself I would never get it this neat. The only thing I now have to do is drill some holes in this, round off these corners and then paint it black. So what I've just done is removed the original plug that was here, or removed it. This is the rubber cap from the, from the plug that I will reuse that. Soldered these wires together and now I will put a plug on this. That will connect to the new USB charging port. So the soldering of the wires it just makes sure that you have a good connection. You don't just re rely on these plugs to make the connection to the other plug. So in the end it will look like this more or less. All the holes are marked. Mismark this one and mismark this one. But all put center punches in. So I'll drill 5mm holes for this. I got some 5mm screws that are not too long. They're 16 quite small, so 16 mm long. Should be fine. Uh, before you start drilling <laughs> drilling into your console, you need to check if there's any wire wiring behind it. Because it would be a bit of a shame if you do have a USB connection but <laughs> the rest of your console doesn't work anymore. That went pretty well. Fits, so that's also nice. So I drilled three mil hole for the big big ones as well. And now we'll use a step over bit. So that's this. This one goes up to 32 mil. I only need to go up to 29, so it will be 30. So it should be fine. That's also why I use a bit of a wood extension, so I don't drill through the table. <laughs>
So let's go down in a little bit. Let's see if it fits. It's mini, my arm. That one fits. Could have been a bit smaller actually. This one fits as well. Nice. So the paint is dry, twist on the, the two plugs. One is the new one with the USB and the other one is the, the 12 volt car plug. So now I'm gonna test fit to make sure that I have enough space for the wires to connect to. And that's only important for the top one. Now we'll mark the center punch, I will center punch the middle one. Uh, it looks pretty good. That does look pretty good. I'll disconnect everything, remove everything and then to mark the other two holes what i will do is i will just run a two or three mil drill bit in here to and that, that will do two things uh, it will guide the screws into place so it doesn't do too much uh, of a wiggle around and make a complete mess of it and also these plastics they are almost 25 years old so they're a lot more fragile than they used to be so drilling drilling out the, the core of the screw will minimize the chance that I will end up with one big crack in the plastics and that's something I really don't like. <laughs> We also don't want to drill them too big because then the screws don't have any grip anymore. Always be careful what's behind it. Here it's just some switches so there's just a little bit of wiring but there are Depends a little bit on your make and model, what's exactly behind it. So off camera I resoldered those because I pulled out one of the one of the connectors. So and this is now the final result. Below here, two USB ports that can use 3.0 quick charging. You probably cannot see, but this is the voltmeters. And this is just a normal 12 volt plug. That I can use to charge the battery. That's it for this video. If you liked it, put a thumbs up. All the stuff is in the links down below. And I will see you next time. Bye.